Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. When you install a game on Steam, then you can select where you want to install it to. This is a very nice feature because you can then install a game on an SSD where you know that it will benefit from the additional speed. And games where you know that they don't require that speed or games that you just don't play that often can be installed on a normal hard drive. So over the last few years Origin did improve quite significantly, but sadly it does still not provide you some of the nice features that we know from Steam, like the ability to select different installation locations for each individual game, family sharing, in-home streaming and a few others. So currently I have all my Origin games on a 750GB hard disk, but I want to move the Battlefield 4 CTE to my SSD to speed it up a bit. Now, what I could do is use the workaround where I change the installation directory inside the origin settings. Even though this works, it's not a very nice method. So what I want to show you is a very elegant way to move the game to a different folder or hard drive, where you do not have to mess around with the settings inside origin. What we will do is take use of a feature that is provided by the NTFS file system, which is called Junction Point. So this is not a hack or something, we will use a feature that is included in our operating system. First of all we need to make sure that you use the NTFS file system. For that we go to the control panel, system and security, admin tools, computer management and then disk management. And here then need to see NTFS as file system for the disk where you have your games installed right now and for the disk where you want to move it to. So now we could use the command prompt to set up our junction, as this is a feature that is inbuilt into our operating system. But that's not a very nice way to do it. So what we will do is that we search for a tool called Link Shell Extension. Hermann Schienagel is the developer of this tool. It's absolutely free, there is no adware included in the installer or something like that, as you see in the installers of other free tools. So if you want to donate, then you can find a few links for that on his website. Now what I want to do is download it, so I press Ctrl F, type in download and then scroll down a bit. So here we have the downloads for the 64-bit operating systems and the 32-bit operating systems. So what I use here is Windows 8.1 with 64-bit, so I want to download and install the first version of the tool. But before I do that I need to download and install the 32 and 64-bit Visual C runtime components. After that I can now head over to the Windows Explorer. So under E Origin Games I have the Battlefield 4 CTE which I want to move to my SSD. So I select the folder, right click and select cut. Then I go to H which is my SSD. Here I create a new folder called games. And then I paste the Battlefield 4 CTE folder into this new games folder. Once it has been moved over here I right click on the folder and select pick link source. Then I go back to E Origin Games, right click and select Drop as Junction. What we have here now looks like a normal Windows shortcut. And that's basically also what a junction is. But unlike the Windows shortcut, this junction acts like an alias of that directory. So this folder looks and works like it's located on the E hard disk, while it's actually located on the SSD. So if I delete a file here inside E Origin Games Battlefield 4 CTE, then this file is also gone inside the actual location of the folder, which is on H Games. So as far as Origin is concerned, this folder is still located inside E Origin Games. And if I join a CTE server, then this will work just fine. And if you want to move other games also over to your SSD, then you just have to repeat the same process that I just showed you here. But you can also use the junctions for other use cases where you just want to have a folder appear on a different hard disk than it's actually located on. In the description you can find the download link for the link shell extension and if you have further questions then just post them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video then give it a like, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Until then have a nice day and take care, my name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.